guys, welcome to a new episode of Can Eat or Not. My name is Agnes. My name is Calvin. It's your favorite host once again. Our name is Black. So in this episode, we are going to do something very adventurous, which is we have decided to eat extremely spicy foods for one day. The three of us eat the same food, but the trick is we are going to eat the same spicy food. You know, Sarah is very good at eating spicy. Well, me and Calvin, being a Chinese, a typical Chinese, we are not that good in eating spicy food. Or maybe it's just me. Okay, for me, ah, I would say I'm kind of nervous, but I have confidence in myself that I will try my best to finish all three meals today. What? As a fellow Indian man, we take pride in our spicy level. But I can tell you, there are times where some food are just too damn spicy, even for me, man. Oh my god! Spicy food, Kelvin is coming for you. All right, guys. So right now is my first meal, and we are going to cook this. Double spicy samyang ramen. I have tried this before, like few years ago, and it was a super painful experience for me. What a way to start off your beautiful morning! Come on, lah, guys. Come on. Two times spicy. This packet right here can kill people. Yeah, literally, man. Y'all do not do this. Be like a normal human being. Eat roti telo. Roti baka. Well, I haven't eaten anything yet. I think I should eat something like drink some milk to really warm my stomach first before eating this. Calories: five hundred and fifty for one package. Holy shit! I've only tried the normal one time spicy before, but this one is two times spicy. Eh, I don't know leh. Even looking at this packet, ah, I already have some shivering down my spine already. Source of death. Yep, looks exactly like that. Birds are all chirping. I am not going to chirp soon. I'm going to be sad. Come on, lah, guys. Seriously, who eats this? Who finishes this? Okay, no joke, guys. I'm literally shaking in my hand because I'm so not looking forward to this. I just want to let you guys know, right? I am the one who suggested this. I don't know why I want to put myself into this. I'm doing it for you. Fight. Nice. For the content. For the content. For the content. Let's take my first bite. Hi. My stomach is gonna be suffering. My strategy is I will try to eat it as quick as possible. You don't want to stall it or drag it on because it will get spicier and spicier. God bless me. Let's go. Okay, my eyes, okay? Hey, but the first bite, ah, uh, actually tastes not bad. And after that, you cannot taste anything, Eddie. I'm done. I'm done. I finished it. For people who don't really eat spicy food, this is really not enjoyable. I don't think I can overcome this talent. Oh shit! Taste-wise, I would say, don't eat it, lah. Oh my god. Okay, the spiciness coming up. <laughs> ah. 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 Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. <laughs> yeah, boy. I can feel the spiciness in my entire mouth, my lips, my throat. Even right now when I talk. I don't know how people enjoy this man, but bro, I can eat spicy food. This, this is not spicy food. This, this volcano or some stuff. 
It shouldn't be categorized under spicy, man. I'm gonna finish it, man. Ah, ah. Every time when I'm very spicy, right? I will keep walking around in my house one. Oh, he needs some milk! Oh. So that's why I need to keep walking to burn off the spiciness, but huh? Cannot burn off. Very spicy. Very spicy, very spicy. You see my lips? You see my lips? Oh my god. Ah. Okay, I remember my fridge got milk one. Milk. More milk. Where's the milk? The milk finished by my family. My dad finished by the milk. <laughs> I don't think I can continue this. Uh, this is really suffering. I left like a few more bites, but I'll stop right here. Alright guys. That was my breakfast. Just don't eat this. I don't think my lunch or dinner can be any worse than this. Yeah, so I finish it 99%. Just a little bit of noodles left, ah. Uh. Uh, I don't care, I don't want to eat it already. But I want to say, I can't believe I really finished it. And after right now, about 5 minutes later, I feel much better. Seriously, I feel much better right now. The spiciness slowly disappears. Right now, even my mouth, my throat, everything feels so much better. Feels more comfortable right now, more relief right now. Yeah, so I think my spice tolerance definitely went up after this meal. I'm sure Sarawanan will do well as well, but I'm not sure Agnes lah, come on. And this one really scary eh. Agnes, you can do your not Agnes. I worry for you Agnes, come on. Agnes, you can or not Agnes. If Calvin and Sarah finish this, that's off to you guys. I really cannot wait to see Calvin's and Agnes video eating this man. Okay, moving on to our second lunch of the day is from Hot Pot Kitchen and it's not just level 1, level 2 We are selecting level 3 extreme spicy level Guys, the colour is very very devilish and reddish Come here to try it <laughs> Come here to try it At first, me and Kelvin wanted to go for the level 1 or level 2 but Sarah say just go all out level 3 instead so I think I foresee myself wasting some food again I have never tried hot pot kitchen before Kelvin said that it's super good given that if you take the level 1 spiciness or the one that without spicy Looks like it's about to kill someone man This is the spiciest you know so spiciest I just want to put it out there hot pot kitchen is one of my most favorite restaurants Every time I go there I will always order either level 1 or their unique platter the non-spicy one That was really good But this one one level 3, sometimes when I eat the level 1, uh, I will already be sweating and stuff like that But level 3, first time trying it <sighs> You can see the colour is super reddish Yeah And a lot oil underneath <laughs> Smell wise, it's really really fragrant Here goes nothing, let's go Guys, something don't feel right. This that is normal, Unil. Eh? What are the issue is going on right here? Mm, the meat has very nice flavor. This is the extremest spiciest, you know. Why am I not getting the sensation, man? Ta-da! Finish it. I'm pretty surprised that it's actually not that spicy, eh? Because I've tried the level one before. That one is quite spicy, but for some reason, the level three that I ordered today from Grab lah, not really that challenging. This is the kind of spiciness, right? They have a lot of spices in there. You can definitely taste the fragrance of the spices, but you have to be careful when eating this because when you suddenly eat too fast, right, you will choke yourself with the spiciness, and I guarantee you, you wouldn't want to experience that. I mean, it's not spicy, but there's some sort of heat there, lah. Okay, but you know. I really thought I was gonna like you know sweat and some stuff like no? Yes, you get that spiciness and that tingling on your tongue. Although yes, I admit I'm sweating a bit, but it's not that kind of spiciness that you cannot tahan one. So I'm eating this very slowly and very carefully. If I were to compare this one with the Samyang noodle, right? The Samyang noodle is very very spicy. But this one, uh, I would say it's still palatable. It's edible. Just that you have to be very careful eating this and you have you get all the spices from it also it's very young, very fragrant, very aromatic. Yeah, just that it's a bit oily 
And also because I get to eat this with um, white rice, so the white rice kind of toned down the spiciness a little bit. Pot pot kitchen, conquered. If you really want to enjoy level 3 to the max, it's best if you pair it with white rice, la. that's my suggestion. Now slowly I can feel the heat. This one compared to the Samyang, right, this is different. Samyang is like burning my tongue, but my throat feels okay. But this one, however, I can feel the heat in my throat now. The ramen from my breakfast is way much worse than this, okay? Yeah! Well, this is kind of surprising because I thought the level 3 spiciness would be like super spicy and very scared of that. But it turns out to be palatable, edible, somehow quite enjoyable if you pair with like white rice or some noodle in it. So yeah. <coughs> you will choke yourself with the spiciness. <coughs> Warning. Careful when you're eating, uh, you take it slowly because you might swallow just the, the spices and then you're going to just almost cough like me, man. Okay guys, just a quick update. I went to the toilet, had a blast just now. Skip it up and up. So yeah, right now I need to rest my stomach for yet another spicy dinner later. I'm very very curious on how Agnes is doing now. I hope she's doing fine. Alright boys, you can see the natural light so nice. Of course it's evening right now. I'm about to eat my dinner. Pretty sure this one too easy. Okay, right now it's dinner time and guys guess what's our dinner? Haha. <laughs> Yep. KFC. And this is their seasonal menu, which is extra hot and spicy chicken. So let's go. So let's see. Visually, looks like McDonald's chicken lah. Look wise and appearance wise, looks pretty normal to me. Doesn't really look very spicy. So you can see, right? Their chicken. Uh. Compared to the normal spicy one, right? Maybe this one is like more orangey. I don't know. So yeah, let's try. Okay, you know what's funny, guys? Imagine they this bought McDonald's chicken and put it on here in this box and then extra hot spicy and then be like, oh, this is damn nice. They like McDonald's chicken. Without further ado, it's time to dig in. How spicy can it be? Even the normal spicy KFC chicken is not spicy also. I didn't order the wrong item though because usually seasonal item right they comes in like super pretty packaging but this one is not spicy at all no spicy lah what a, where the spice go so far no spiciness at all skin pretty crispy and you get a little bit of gelatinous texture from the chicken skin the name of this is called extra hot and spicy fried chicken but I don't really feel the heat though Seriously, I'm starting to think did I order wrongly or not? No spicy at all eh. It's even worse than their normal and usual spicy fried chicken eh. It's not spicy at all man. <clears throat> the worst that it does is just give me this uneasy feeling in my throat because once you swallow it, if you don't swallow it whole, then it's like, hey, 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 you know? KFC, you guys can do better. I'm sorry KFC, I will have to compare you with McDonald's because it has always been that way. There was a time when McDonald's had a super extra spicy chicken. That shit! What did he say? Oh. Sorry, that chicken was actually spicy, like, whoo, you know? But this is a nice chicken. You guys cooked it well, but it's not spicy at all, man. The fried chicken from their competitor, M brand, they are spicy one. That one really good. That one really got a spicy cake. This one totally on your own. Even me also felt like it's not spicy. So for Sarah, maybe this is like the original <laughs> KFC fried chicken. Now I can feel some heat around my lips. That's it. Just around my lips. A little bit like tingling sensation. That's it. Well, this concludes the end of this spicy food episode. So after trying out all the three spicy food, I must say lah, the hot pot one, the KFC was too easy. From this video, we can know that the champion, the king of spicy food among the three foods that we eat today is Samyang double spicy ramen. That one is a killer. Wow, that Samyang ramen is really... Oh my god, right now I think about it, I'm also sweating already. That is not spicy. That is like volcano lava, you know? Now my only concern after this spicy challenge is whether tonight or tomorrow morning my ass will be burning or not. Yeah. So yeah guys, 
please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And we will see you again the next week of Can Eat or Not. Okay? So, thank you so much for your continuous support. And see you soon. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers!